ChatGPT is notoriously bad at spatial awareness, not even being able to play tic-tac-toe, at least when it's playing against a human. But then I discovered something interesting. It can actually play tic-tac-toe flawlessly, as long as the game is against itself. It was time to test the limits and have ChatGPT play a game of chess against itself. It starts off with reasonable pawn moves from both sides, but then White immediately blunders a pawn. At least all of the moves are legal so far. Okay, this bishop move is the first of many illegal moves. However, it does correctly know the bishop's starting square, as well as it can move diagonally. The same goes for castling. I'll be putting whatever piece was last moved on the square, though it is important to note the chat GPT interprets multiple pieces on the same square. No pieces actually vanish. Here is more indication that when making a move, ChatGPT only considers general movement rules and what is heard on the internet. In this case, the developing bishop's early game is good. Variable interaction, in this case the pawn attacking the bishop, is beyond its capabilities. It doesn't even consider the pawn. And this is more than just a spatial limitation. More warping through pieces. The more nuanced parts of the game like Castle League, Chad GPT can't really grasp. Determining if a regular move could be legal requires knowing how the piece moves where it currently is, not much else. But for Castle League, it works differently kingside and queenside with the legality depending on if multiple pieces have moved before. This rook move shows another general limitation of Chad GPT. From its training data, it knows rook moves start happening about at this point in the game, and that the reason for them is often stated as bringing the rook into the game. And while it is a legal move, it doesn't make it a good move. This type of error is a lot harder to notice when asking it to give information about a topic, especially if you don't know much about it. Now it's like it's gone off on some tangent with the pawns continuing to build off the previous response, but it's hard to tell what's really going on. It's also kind of cool that Black sort of has a game plan. It keeps pushing the pawns to the end of the board instead of just moving random pieces. Here is confirmation that it definitely remembers the locations of pieces, because the queen did move from its starting square to d3 a long time ago, and that has to be recorded somewhere. I'll show the rest of the game all at once now. It does know that when pawns get to the end of the board, they promote to queens. It's also interesting that it does seem to have picked a winning and losing side, making the winning side's plan attacking as much as possible, and the losing side's plan walking the king into the middle of the board. This happens a lot in real games, and it's really like it's scripting that outcome without actually knowing any of the geometry between specific pieces. In this position, it's apparently checkmate. In general, the spatial awareness was actually okay. I was extremely impressed it remembered what square pieces were on 10 moves later, especially since this exceeds the accepted working memory constraints of 4,000 tokens. It obviously has some prioritization when choosing what to remember. However, it seems like there's a hard limitation with any prompt on having different variables with different properties interact. ChatGPT has a sort of one-tracked mind and this goes far beyond chess. I'll look into more prompt engineering to overcome this limitation and keep you posted. Thanks for watching.